What's up everybody and welcome back to another episode of Lands of Elysian. As you can see, I'm here at the zombie spawner trying to repair at least my shovel. And we're getting a pretty decent way there. Anyways, let's go into first person and let's get this show on the road. Right, so I think, I think we can kind of maybe stop here. This, this should be enough. In fact, what I'm going to do is just kind of keep that open in case we get some more rotten flesh. And I'm actually going to take the available rotten flesh that we have and, uh, yeah, put my pants back on. Because that's necessary. All right, I think that's enough for the shovel. We can always come back and do that a later time. So, a couple of things have been happening lately. And at the time of recording this, 1.17 has been released as of... Is it yesterday? The day before yesterday? It was released not too long ago. Not even not even a full week. It's it's been just a day or two. Uh-oh. Nighttime. I might want to go inside. Make this daytime. Here we go. I'm pretty sure many of you are actually super excited for 1.17. I know I am, and uh, <laughs> I'm so excited I can't even really think straight. But yeah, there's definitely a lot of new things in 1.17. I think they even split the update just because it was so massive. Uh oh That's not my spray and pray. There we go. Where are you? Where are you? Oh, 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 no, no. <sighs> okay. Wowzers. That was close. But yeah, I I'm super excited about it. I really want to update the world, but I'm really scared to do so at the same time. I don't want 1.17 to ruin this world. I don't mind going through the necessary things that we've had to do before to update this world, but I I'm really worried that it may be I I irreparable. Is that a word? Irreparable? Unrepairable? Uh, irrevertible? I have no idea what I'm trying to say. But you guys know. But the main reason why I can't update just yet is because uh, we don't have replay mod. I really want replay mod. And we also need Optifabric, which is still not available. I think it was Optifabric? Yeah, Optifine is available. Fabric mod is available. A few other things are available for 1.17 already but not replay mod and not Optifabric. So if replay mod is not a big deal to you, I can try to update, but I don't know if Optifabric, I think Optifabric is required for Optifine to run in 1.17, or the new versions, I should say. Okay, uh, I think I can, I'm going to just kind of temporarily put the rotten flesh and the bone in here. I'm gonna grab what I have left of the wool, and we're gonna go right up to the top here of our balloon. There we go. Oh, ooh. Uh, I don't have any torches on me. That's that's actually a problem. Okay, let's go back down. I, I definitely need torches. Ouch. Are they spawning on top of that? You know what? I don't really need that anymore. So that can kind of that can kind of go. Ooh, okay, I made it collect this stuff there we go and I think I'm gonna have to put some lights down here it seems like this may be spawning some mobs I think we need a torch down here or something this is kind of dark ain't it Do I hear a bat somewhere is, is there a bat happening in this in this basement There, that's so weird. Where is that bat noise coming from? Oh, you know what that is? We're actually right above the creeper farm. The uh, gunpowder farm. That's where the bats are coming from. That's where the cats are coming from. That's why it's so noisy here. That's so funny. We'll just say the back alley of that house is haunted. That's all. Now, hopefully, what you're noticing also is that my mic 
is coming through a little bit better than it was in some of the previous episodes and that's because I've repositioned it and hopefully it's going to stay this way moving forward because I, I dislike when I notice bad audio quality in my videos. It, it really... Oh, they're down below. Okay. As I was saying, I dislike bad audio and I want to give you guys the best quality I possibly can. Sometimes it's rather difficult, but sometimes it's okay. And um, yeah, hopefully it's a lot better while I'm recording this too. Okay, I, I don't have, do I not have any torches? What's going on here? So there's been a lot of things that I've been trying to do just kind of in this world and with my content and just in general. Um, you can see, oh, I thought I heard a creeper. Thought I heard a creeper. And it was just the fireplace or the torch actually. You can see I've, I'm almost done with the... You can see that I'm almost done with the balloon. It's it's just three-fourths of the way done. Yeah, I guess that's about three-fourths. And I'm just trying to really get this done so that we have a, a nice complete airship. That might be super cool. And I'm going to just make some more torches here. Boom. Just like that. Wow, that's a ton of torches. But that's good because I'm going to need them moving forward. So let's just try to get back up to the balloon and get this done now. All right, here we are inside the balloon. You can see what it looks like from the inside. All the netting type work that you can see from the inside. Holding in the balloon within the netting. And uh, I've got some campfires here that are, you know, keeping the hot air inside of the balloon going so that it has enough to raise the, the boat into the air. Creating an airship. And yeah, we've got a really, oh boy, this is going to be quite difficult. So what I'm going to try to do here is actually have enough going for um, the rest of the balloon. And I'm going to just try and mimic the shapes that I've been going on on one side. Now, this, this is the easier part now that I don't have to really go back and forth making all these decisions. And uh, especially when I'm so far up in the air, this is kind of nerve wracking, actually.
All right, all right. I think we've actually finished this, but there's still a little bit that has to be done, actually. I'm checking right now to see that everything is absolutely the same. In fact, maybe I need to get back here to be able to see all of that. And for the most part, it looks like, it looks like things are pretty even, which is really awesome. Now there's still a lot that has to be done to the surface of this. I have to actually cover the top of the balloon with carpets so that nothing spawns on top. But other than that, I, I think we're done. I think we're pretty done and I think it's pretty well lit on the inside where, where nothing is going to spawn in here either. So that's looking pretty awesome. So with that pretty much being almost the end of the airship, uh, there's just one more thing I gotta do. I have to get a spruce button. It should be a spruce button. Yeah, spruce button to uh, activate the command block that will be uh, allowing us to teleport back down from there. And uh, I need to. I need to go. And why is there so many mobs around here? I can hear them. I can hear them. Jeez, what's happening over there? I left most of my supplies over here by the library since this was our most current project that we've been working on. And uh, yeah, look at that. <laughs> it still kind of looks like a giant pill in the sky, which is what I was kind of scared of. Maybe I should add some kind of fin or something to the back of that. I don't know. It's going to look like a giant fish then, a pill fish. But um... I think it still kind of looks cool and you know the balloon is massive it has to be because you always want the balloons to be bigger than the actual ship it's supposed to be lifting up it's more believable that way but i think it's kind of cool still it looks pretty awesome and i'm over here because we needed a spruce button i'm gonna put away these and oh you know what we have that in there too and this put the leather away where's my wood here we go so one button coming right up Damn, all right, that's gonna go up there. There's so much noise under here because I've been under here digging up this thing. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. I've been digging up this area underneath because I thought, you know what? We're definitely gonna be needing some archives underneath this library to put all of your comment books in and get, get out of here. Holy moly. I think we might have to light this place up. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Alright, there we go. That should fix this area up just a little bit. Hopefully no more spawns will be occurring under here until we can actually finish this basement or archive area of the library up. Man, it was noisy. It looks awfully dark out here. I'm not sure why. This is so weird. I, I could have sworn there was more light here for some odd reason. But we're gonna have to probably put some type of street lamp here or something. This shouldn't be so dark. I don't want to get rid of this tree though because I kind of like it here but yeah something something's creating spawns out here and, and it's not good. All right, here we go, top of the ship. This button is gonna go right here. It's not gonna activate anything except for the command block that is actually right under here. There we go. And that's going to hold our TP system to get back down to the ground level. All right, there we go, daytime again. And um, yeah, so that's gonna be right there. It's gonna teleport you up. This will teleport you down to the ground level uh, wherever we're going to put our um, FK hut, I guess. Maybe we should make a AFK hut specifically for AFK farms that will kind of teleport you to each one. I don't know. It's something to think about, but we definitely need a place that will teleport us up here for the gunpowder farm. And until that happens, I guess these, these scaffolds are going to have to stay here because we're, we're going to need a way up. Or actually what I'll do is I'll cover the hole up there fly down here with my elytra then get rid of them and we should be good to go you know what why is it so crazy down here look at this they're they're over here again this is crazy you know what it is it's the airship 
the airship is casting a shadow. That's what it is. I forgot that, that did, that's what it does. Uh, even though it's daylight out. It's still casting shadows down here, so we're definitely gonna have to build up some street lamps out here. Oh man, okay. We've got a problem, folks. Right, I'm going to temporarily light this place up. Because that shadow is really looming down here, and it's causing a lot more spawns. Which normally shouldn't be an issue, but because, you know, it's doing its thing, it is causing some harm. Come on, just back out the door, there you go. And I'm definitely hearing some... Ooh, skellies! That's why it's so dark over here too, that makes sense now. Alright, we gotta get rid of that one. Gotta get rid of that one. There we go. So I can actually look up. Put that there, and that's that's a slab, so let's get the slab. There we go, and boom! Airship is officially done down here. And now I can actually fly. Alright. Let's fly out to the farmlands and let's get a nice good view of this. Let's maybe start from the opposite side of the farmlands. Let's fly up as high as we can. Whoa, I disappeared. Definitely high up in the air. Where am I? Oh goodness, is this an Optifine issue? That's not cool. That's, that's awful. Right, here we go. Wow, look at that. Look how cool that is. That is a pretty big airship. That's really awesome. I think we did a pretty good job on this. The netting, the bubbles coming out of the actual balloon for the airship. It looks pretty good. Now I want to check just in case. Can we actually land? Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Yep, just right under it. Wow, look at the lands. So impressive. Now, if you look on the back of the airship, we actually have three propellers for steering and for going forward or backwards, I guess. And uh, yeah, it's totally awesome. Oh, 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 oh! I landed on it. That's awesome. But we should definitely make this a safe system. So yeah, we're definitely going to be using the command blocks. All right. With that done, we can actually land back on the Mining Co. building and uh, get rid of all that scaffolding. And that should make the airship a little bit more, well, awesome to look at. It does kind of cast a shadow down here, though, doesn't it? It's kind of crazy. All right, this is going to be fun to watch. It's raining scaffolding. And now it's everywhere. All right, and just like that, scaffolding is gone. The airship is up in the sky. It looks absolutely amazing. I'm I'm happy about it. I'm super impressed. And we've got ourselves a pretty useful and immersive AFK station for the gunpowder farm. So that's super awesome. There we go. Let's get rid of these too, since we no longer need these here either. Collect all of that. Yeah, and it opens it up a little bit more, so that's cool. I've really got to figure out the lighting situation here though. That's a mess. And unfortunately for today, I don't have any comments of the day. That's because I'm recording this episode ahead of my normal time, as I've mentioned probably a few times now. I'm also just trying to get a little bit of a backlog going for the channel so I can create calmly and peacefully and uh, with just, you know, plenty of time to create some pretty good content. So until next time, thank you for watching. Thank you for all of your support. It means a lot to me. Thank you so much. And I'll see y'all later. So have a good one. See ya.